All right, we are back down in Red River Gorge, out on a section of trail that I have not been to yet. This was uh, inspiration by backpacking with Jason on his recent Tar Ridge Trail. Um, so we came down, just drove down for the evening, just camp, hiked in far enough to get camp set up, just around a mile or so. We're getting set up here. We plan on getting some exploring done here a little later. Brian's with me today, set up over there in the hammock. I'm gonna set my tent up here in a second. We're gonna gather a little bit of firewood. Not windy, they had a little bit of rain, so we should be nice and safe. We have a pre-existing fire ring here. So we're gonna explore this evening, hopefully stay warm enough this evening, and then uh, see what we can get into tomorrow before we head back home. So just a quick overnight out here. I thought we'd bring you along for the adventure. Well, we survived the night, didn't we, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> Got a little chilly last night down in the upper 20s. Uh, we found a pretty decent camp spot, got set up, was able to build a little fire. It lasted a little while, the wood was a little wet. I made sure and put it out this morning and dumped some water on it. Got a little chilly last night, like I said, I never really got my feet quite warm. And Brian said he was sweating, so <laughs> it was too hot. Uh, but otherwise, we, we survived. We're gonna explore the rest of Tar Ridge this morning and then uh, see what we can get into after that. Well, we're not quite out to the end of one of the offshoots out here on Tar Ridge. Came to this pretty cool overlook here. Goes out to this rock point. So you can see all the rock faces the opposite side. Still a little color in the leaves down there. Some, some oranges. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but you can see the what the drop is out that way. And then we'll continue on out this rock out here Brian's out here somewhere if he didn't fall off I'm assuming he didn't I didn't hear him yell let's see we'll try to if I can get down here without dropping the camera Pretty cool out here. What do you think, Brian? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So if you're out on Tar Ridge, I would definitely recommend uh, hitting those little offshoots because some of them, like this one, have some pretty cool overlooks. Some of the others, there really wasn't much. We, we took a, another one up there that we passed here previously, but and there wasn't much there. But, but this one, this one's worth the price of admission for sure. This out our next little offshoot off the main trail at Tar Ridge. We're working our way. We came to a trail up here to our left out to this overlook, kind of walking across this rock face on the way back. Should get us back to the same spot. If the trees don't knock Brian off the edge, we'll be good. <laughs> no, I don't, don't blame you. Does it? Yeah. So that's another good little offshoot and worth it. It was a little sketchy at this one little section up here to get up to the next level of the trail, but but pretty doable, not, not too bad. Well, we came to our next section here. We think we're gonna to need to try to get up that way somehow. We'll see if we need, I did bring a rope, so we'll see if we need it or not. Sun's starting to peek through back here, as you can see. There's also another outcropping over there. I don't know if we end up over there or not, but 
for now we're going to see if we can make it up here and, uh, and head on out just for reference over there across the way that's that rock face we were just on there a minute ago when we were walking back to the trail well we made it up that section brian must have hiked with scott enough that he jumped up there like a little spider monkey <laughs> and then i climbed part way up and then he uh gave me a hand to get the rest of the way up we did bring a rope because uh, we thought we might need it but we uh, opted not to get it out and so far we've not had to we'll see on the way back down and, and what we get ourselves into the rest of the day but yeah the view up here is just still pretty amazing it's always fun to do a little rock scrambling to get up to some of these places but you can see the view back around that way and just kind of pans around this would have been probably even more spectacular a couple weeks ago with the leaves I would suspect still seeing some hints of color down there in the bottoms but but overall pretty cool uh, so tar ridge has been uh, has been fun thus far and several good campsites out through here just depending on where you want to go and different offshoots each offshoot has has one and all of them been pretty decent really some bigger than others pretty cool this is an overlook we didn't get to last night this is just down from our campsite so we're gonna head back pick up our packs we're all packed up for the evening or from from last night i should say and then we're gonna head back to the car and then see what other adventures we can get into today we uh thinking maybe just some shorter shorter hikes out to some of the maybe whistling arch and buzzard roof south and some of those others but we'll see kind of doing a little bit of a recon mission for the next time we come down here with some friends for a day hike so pretty good view this was just down from our campsite last night all right we decided to do another little side jaunt to buzzard roof south south off of sky bridge so we came around that rock formation up there behind me and then uh, out here for this overlook i think uh devil's gulch or something like that or is is that what they called it devil's gulch or devil's canyon or something, something like that. It was i think over in there somewhere not really sure we're going to get out on that rock down there here in just a minute we got to shimmy down through a through another section here i'll get a picture of brian shimmying down through there that'll be that'll be good that'll be, an ugly picture. That'll be sure to uh to get the views comment below if you like to see brian shimmying down through rock rock areas <laughs> All right, Brian shimmying down through there. He asked if we were coming back up this way. I told him yes. Look at him like a pro. So this is down at the lower level. If I recall, there is a little gap that we have to jump across to out here, but it's pretty small. But it does get kind of narrow here, as you see. By pretty small, maybe non-existent. <laughs> Smaller than I remember. For mid-November, it was still a little chilly out, but beautiful weather out today. Like I said, we got a little chilly last night, but once you're up and moving, really just about perfect. So we walked on past that area where we shimmied down and uh, kind of got out to this area. Not sure if you can see it down there, but there's a chain on the wall right down there on the rock's face. I think people do some rock climbing out this way. 
So I'll show you, show you what it looks like on the way back, uh, back up to where we shimmy back up and then head back to the car. All right, we made it here to Whistling Arch. Pretty short little jaunt from the trailhead. Brian said it was false advertising. We don't hear any whistling. We did uh, make our way down the trail, around the arch, and then kind of around the other side. Kind of dead ends around on the back side of it over there. We couldn't really get through. We did end up, up going up over top and climbing down that section right there. We decided climbing down was harder than climbing up. So we're gonna head back to the car. Rumor is my wife may be cooking us some steaks for this evening. So we're gonna start working our way back toward Ohio, maybe a stop or two here and there on the way, but otherwise heading that direction. Here you can see kind of the backside of Whistling Arch and how it kind of drops out down below. We thought maybe the trail was gonna come back around down there, but it, it there was a kind of a dead end section over there that we really couldn't safely get past. We may have been able to do it, but it was probably not wise if we did. <laughs> so we'll head back to the car, see what we can get ourselves into next. Well, we made the drive out to Chimney Top. Nice view up here today, beautiful weather. You see clouds split our way over there. Just kind of pan around here. So we get over there, we got Hanson's Point, and then Half Moon over that way. We were pleasantly surprised with a little live music out here at Chimney Top today, so, uh, or Chimney Top Rock, or Chimney Rock, or whatever it's called. So we may hit Princess Arch on the way back out, and then and head back home. We made it out to Princess Arch. I believe that's what you're looking at there. So you can see it, uh, the arch there. I guess we'll finish this up for today. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little chilly evening and uh, days of exploring. We uh, saw a few things today that I've never seen down here before. So worked out pretty well. Several places we'd come back to, a couple maybe we wouldn't. But uh, otherwise, we're gonna head back toward Ohio and uh, partake in a nice steak dinner, courtesy of my wife. So. We're going to head back that direction, and thanks for joining us. Till next time, get outside.